Hello guys, welcome back. Something unique or something fascinating happened on this channel and I would like to share with you in this video. So there's this strategy that I try to implement on my video titles that I tried for the past few months and I was watching to see if this really worked. And to my greatest surprise, this strategy tripled the views on my videos. So I'm going to share with you this strategy and I believe that it will also work for you on your channel. There are two major ways that people will find your videos on YouTube. The first is that if they are searching for topics related to your videos, definitely your videos could pop up on the search result. And the second one is when YouTube recommends your video to people on the platform. So now, According to YouTube, YouTube said that about 70% of the people on that people watching videos on YouTube, about 70% of them watch videos that YouTube recommends to them, while the remaining 30% are those that are searching for videos they want to watch, probably most times educational videos. So now this now creates a clear picture, and I believe that. The YouTube algorithm has been, you know, has been adjusted to work towards this um, kind of recommendation. So typically, when you make videos on how to do something, most times you are always advised that you should put how to, you know, let it be the first two words or first three words in your video title, so that when people search it, search for that kind of, I mean, search for topics related to your videos it will definitely pop up. So most times we call it, you know, search engine optimization. That's to optimize your video so that when people search for it on YouTube, it will easily pop up. So, but now it is very clear that the algorithm is working in a particular dimension. And this is favoring videos that are optimized for recommendation. So I tried this strategy I mean, for the past few months on my channel, and I saw a great result. And I also show you that um, even the same thing is happening in YouTube search. So when people search, it's very obvious that videos that are optimized for recommendation also pop out most of the time. So now let me just show you what's actually happened on my videos. And you can see that these are my recent videos. Like, let me take you back like some few months back, like, let me say like four or five months back. So when you see here, you see typically my videos, how to, you know, do this, how to. So when you check that, when I just do typical how to, you see that the views are very low. Most times it's less than 1000 views. And as you can see here, this video is over seven months old. And but when you see here, do this if you want to change and invalid traffic, what you should do. And if you see here how to, you can see that the views are relatively low. So now fast forward to my current videos. Like here, you see that this video in less than three weeks, it has already gotten 3,600 views. And when you check this one in, in, a, in a month, it has already gotten 4,100 views. So what is the difference between these videos and others that are not performing very well? So what I discovered, and definitely that is what is happening on YouTube. And I believe when you implement this on your channel, you will also see a significant result. So what this implies is that you optimize more for recommendations than for search. I'm not saying that search engine optimization is no longer working. It do work, but now I think the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm now is toning down this search engine optimization. So YouTube, the YouTube algorithm is now focusing more on people's interest. So when you do video that the titles can attract people like, for example, imagine this video in three weeks, typically my videos don't normally get up to 1000 views. 
in the month. But imagine this strategy. I said he will never get his money back a lesson for new YouTubers. And you see the views. Then let me just do take you down to like some other videos on this channel. Like you can see this, how to successfully appear reduce content, 1.1200 1, views. So you can see that monetize and demon. So these are just generic titles and they are optimized for YouTube search. But this shows that YouTube search is being toned down. That's meaning that the YouTube algorithm is focusing on videos that are optimized for recommendation. So take note of this. So now you might, you might ask, how can I replicate this on my channel? It's just a simple idea. You just have it in mind like storytelling. So instead of saying, telling someone that do this and get this, you don't go straight to the point. You can now make it like you are telling a story that, okay, James do this and he achieved this. So this is how you can do this. You get the point. Instead of you, instead of you to put a title on your vlog like, I visited my favorite restaurant in Lagos. You can say, oh, I had a terrible meal in this restaurant in Lagos and it is my favorite restaurant. You get the point. You will tell a story in your title. So it's not only about the content, it's not only about the videos, but you also tell story in your title. So this makes it optimized for recommendation. So the, like we all know, since late last year, the YouTube algorithm is very obvious that it has been, you know, there's some changes in the YouTube algorithm and it is favoring small creators. So you can catch up with this make adjustments in your titles you know if they are not if your titles are just generic just maybe probably you are optimizing them for search you can now start reconsidering optimizing them for recommendation just imagine that we have 100 persons watching youtube and 70 percent of them are watching based on what the platform is recommending to them so now, if you are targeting the 30%, that means you are leaving a lot on the table. So what you need to do is target those that 70% are people watching based on what YouTube, I mean, is recommending to them. Target those people by optimizing your videos for recommendation and you see a major difference. So just like what I said, you can see when I started implementing this uh, storytelling on my titles, it made a difference. You can see the views. This one, 3,000, more than 3,000 in three weeks. This one, more than 4,000 in one month. My typical how to, or those videos that I optimize for search, you can see that they have lower views compared to the ones that I tell story. I will also show you an example that videos optimized for recommendations are also performing very well on the YouTube search results. So what this means is that even while you are targeting the 70% of people watching videos based on what YouTube recommends to them, you are also you have the opportunity to also tap into the remaining 30%. So like now, I made a search on YouTube, how to make salad. So this one is a sponsored ad. So the first video that came up was how to make Nigerian vegetable salad. As you can see here, you can see that this video was made three years ago. Back then, search or searchable content were king. So let's go down. So right here, you can see like this video now. This video, perfect Nigerian salad, you will love it. It's just, this is not optimized for search, but for recommendation. So let me go down again. So what's so we have other videos and if you check this, the videos that are how to, all these how to videos, there are older videos that have already gained ground. But I guarantee you that by the time you make this similar search or by the time I make, if I make this similar search, maybe in the next six months, you will see that all these videos, because all these newer videos will take over the older videos that use how to. So have, take in mind that 
Now you need to work more on recommendations, optimize your video titles for recommendation. So let me just think, go down so that you see that in this estate, the call, I mean, this page, this search result page, like the experts, we call it estate. Most of the space on the search result is being taken by videos optimized for recommendation. So let's go further. You can see like this one, how to is three years ago going how to over a year so you see the how to is because why you are seeing this how to is because these videos are older videos that have already gained ground so the youtube platform has already are familiar with these videos so that's why when you search you see it but now the new players are coming in and like for example the next video you will see here is look at this fruit perfect recipe how to make creamy fruit salad plus so this particular person used a very good strategy optimized for recommendation and at the same time for search so this how to is for search is optimized for search and then this fruit perfect salad is something and business friendly is something that people can relate and when people watch videos on this uh, recipe YouTube can probably we recommend this video to them and at the same time this video is also appearing on YouTube search so funny enough Temelayo Amon is a member of our community so that's interesting so this gets to show you that when you focus more on YouTube recommendations you will have the opportunity to access 70 percent of the people on the platform at the same time also have access to the 30 percent that are searching for topics on youtube so i guarantee you that this strategy will work so start telling stories in your video titles now you may ask like how long was the length of the video titles for example you should check on my channel like now you can see that when you go through you can see that like the first 10 words are visible like for example let me bring something like this this particular video has a lengthy title you can see that it's now being truncated here so if you want to tell a story you can let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like an average of 10 letters will be okay but when you are trying to tell a story in your title you make sure that the the catchy part of the of the of the story should be at least among the first 10 letters or the first sorry among the first 10 words for you not to miss out in in this strategy you make sure that i mean the catchy part of the title is being placed first then the remaining story cannot follow so i hope you get the point let me use this opportunity to inform you about my last adsense master class that is coming up this saturday so i will love you to register because it will be a better place for you to understand about youtube monetization you know without adsense you can't monetize your channel so and a lot of content creators have have been having issues i mean on issues related to adsense after reaching the youtube monetization threshold the biggest edit is you know creating an adsense account and linking it to their youtube channel so i'm going to share a lot in this adsense master class and you will have the opportunity to ask questions live and i will respond so you know many creators have registered for this adsense master class and i won't like you to miss it especially if you are a member of this community so please take this advantage so that you can ask me your questions you know like i said earlier i'm winding down everything about access on this channel winding down in the sense that i don't i won't be accepting support you know dedicated support as as such so i might be doing videos on access but like when you ask me personal questions i may not respond to them i'm moving on to some other things so use this opportunity register and you will get a lot of information and i'll be assisting 
some of the content creators that will be monetizing soon, I'll be assisting them personally to make sure that they achieve, I mean, they finish or they, you know, they get everything set. So uh, probably if you can meet up with the registration, probably you might have the replay, but that will be at an extra cost. You get the point, it will be at, at an extra cost. And you might not have that opportunity to ask me your personalized challenge. So please use this opportunity this Saturday, probably in two days time and register and you'll get the best on AdSense. Mind you, the information I'll be sharing in this masterclass, you will hardly find them on the internet. So don't miss this opportunity. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you really know that you are going to implement this on your channel, please let me know in the comment section. So if you are not a member of this community, you just have to just hit the subscribe button to be part of this wonderful community. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and if it's, if you will, <laughs> okay. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and